Hey guys, it's Kara. Welcome to Champagne Taste on a Beer Budget. I just wanted to jump on here to give you guys some news. You just saw the thumbnail and um, I've been in touch with my doctor today and yesterday I messaged the doctor and I have a presumptive positive diagnosis for COVID-19. Um, so I wasn't feeling great for several days. I was feeling, um, um, achy, but you know, I have fibromyalgia, so I'm kind of used to that a lot. Uh, but then I started getting unusual things like watery eyes and then, um, a fever, uh, that I'm getting at night. I get it around like seven o'clock, eight o'clock, and it'll go up to 99 and a half. And then... I don't know, it'll go back down to like 97.2 or something. So one minute I'm hot, the next, I don't know, next morning I'm cold. Um, so I don't know. It. I have not been tested with the actual test. And yeah, so this is how the system is working, at least in uh, my state or my county or whatever. I'm in Massachusetts and I'm south of Boston. Um, I called the doctor and I, and I told her my symptoms, I do have the heaviness in the chest, um, it's, it, my voice is probably sounding really low right now and I guess I can hear a little bit of raspiness, kind of raspy, coming across the Kim Kardashian raspiness. Um, so I was getting the fevers, which is so unusual for me, and then Today I have the heaviness in the chest and they say that you can get difficulty breathing. So um, it's just heaviness right now. And um, oh, about the testing. So I asked if I would be tested and I explained that my live-in boyfriend is an essential worker. Um, he goes into lately uh, banks and hospitals to work on their computer systems. Um, so he just happened to get a letter yesterday saying that he was an essential worker because um, my state is beginning to crack down on non-essential workers being outside and non-essential businesses being open. Um, as of noon yesterday, all non-essential businesses had to close. So all retail businesses had to close. Um, and then he got his letter um, yesterday about being an essential worker so that if he did get stopped anywhere, um, he could show his letter. So I said to them, well, I live with an essential worker, um, so what should we do about that? And she said, the nurse told me that he needs to stay home and self-isolate for 14 days. So I've already been at home self-isolating since like a few days before um, March 17th. Um, and I did that because I was caring for Pat's 90 year old mother. I did stop caring for her. <laughs> that sounds terrible. I stopped caring for her <laughs> physically uh, about seven days ago. So uh, I only, we can only pray to God that um, she's okay. And I was so careful when I was over there. I was bringing my own paper plates and plastic cups so that I wouldn't even use her cutlery or anything. So that's our number one concern right now. And um, we just contacted Pat's relative in Western Massachusetts and um, he's going to come out and, you know, live with her um, and help. Um, since I'm presumptive positive, I live with Pat. He's probably positive, but showing no symptoms. I mean, who really knows? Because it's the science just isn't there, you know? It, the, or the scientific evidence isn't there right now to tell us these things. Yeah, okay, <laughs> I'm rambling. So why didn't they test me? They did not test me because they said they're only testing essential workers and healthcare workers. Or if I lived with the healthcare worker or essential worker like a fireman or police or maybe even supermarket because hey supermarkets essential um, so they're not testing me um, they do have a drive-through testing area um, just a city or two south of me that's really close by but uh, they said that's only for the healthcare workers and the very high risk, so the elderly. So uh, despite what the news is telling us about, oh, there's so many tests, oh, uh, there's not, not, <laughs> not in my state. So um, I get no test. 
Um, and as for the future, you know, I'm, I'm not super worried. Um, you know, worst case scenario, you'd have trouble breathing or you might be vomiting blood, something like that, that could get really, oh, my heart's skipping right now. Um, something like that, that would be really bad that I'd have to go to a hospital ER. And of course, if you ever need to do that and you think you have COVID, you should be calling first so that they can, you know, handle it. Um, but I'll be in touch with my doctor. You know, if my, my fever was like 99 point something two nights ago, and then it was higher last night. So I said, well, it's probably going to break a hundred tonight. She says, yeah, <laughs> self care at home, girl for the next 14 days. So that's what I'm doing. My eyes are pretty watery and I did put on a little bit of makeup because I was trying out a Morphe palette two days ago and it stained my eyes red, but I didn't want to scare you guys and come on with red um, devil eyes because you'd think I was sicker than I am, but I got COVID so I'm already sick. Um, that is the story. Outside, we do have high tide and it is gray outside. And since you're here, um, I do have to, um, have to, well, I want to, um, a couple of little product reviews. They're lovely, I promise. Clarins and YSL. So um, I, I'm probably going to be on and off YouTube um, for the next, I don't know, 14 days. We'll see how I feel. But um, editing is going to be hard because I'll have to be like staring at the computer screen and I'm probably already squinting from the lights. Um, even daylight is kind of bothering me right now. So uh, I think the hardest part will be for me to stare at um, a computer screen to edit things. That will be the most hard part of um, being a YouTuber for the next week or two but i do want to still keep publishing videos because um that's what i do i love makeup and uh let's talk about this so ysl was kind enough to gift this to me and this is the um rouge volupte volupte rock and shine you can get this um, at Sephora or take a look at the shades. This one is in 15, it's called Gold Track. So what they are is a beautiful form. It's slim at the top. Look at the packaging, gorgeous. This top part has little sparkly things on it. And um, if you look at the center, the little center is a little shimmery star. So, Let's do a little swatch. And I did swatch this in store at Sephora. And if you buy this like in a deep color, it does look totally different because you're going to have the silvery shimmer. Uh, but I just swatched it here and it was such a beautiful, just a glow, just a total glow that I thought would, this would look beautiful with like a nude lip. Um, so let's try it out. This is the uh, gold one. So pretty. This is my first YSL lipstick ever. So how are you guys doing? Anybody get COVID yet? <laughs> if so, let me know. We could be COVID friends. So oh, that tastes so good. It tastes citrusy. But as you can see, it's just a beautiful light shimmer. And I had just wiped off my um, lipstick. It was a MAC lipstick. But um, the shade was very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury. What's a pillow tech? Um, but it was a MAC one. But look at how pretty. Should I turn the lights up? Turn up the light. So this is gorgeous and it, and it smells like, oh, it smells like beautiful melons. Lovely. So I plan to use that either just bare like this 
um, or as uh, a topper on like a matte lipstick. So this is the Glitter Star Core Sparkling Color and Shine. And let's see, it feels nice and soft, so it does have oils in it. Um, various one, jojoba and some other ones, but super nice. And yeah, so I had gotten a couple of products through um, Octoly and I just, you, they, they give you a time frame to get up your reviews. So I figure why not do it now since, uh, I don't know, I could be in bed the next uh, several days or a week or what have you. This is the Clarins Lip Comfort Oil. This is the new one, Lip Comfort Oil Intense. And I, like a lot of other people, have the Comfort Lip Oil, is that what, Lip Comfort Oil in Candy, the pink one, and it's the clear packaging and the clear uh, formula. It's so pretty and it's so nice to wear in the winter, just all the time, because it's an oil. So this is an intense color version, and this one is in shade, lightweight cream oil this is in the shade 03 intense raspberry this was gifted to me by clarence thank you clarence for my review on the channel here and if you could see the swatch yes it is intense and this smells just like raspberries like it's crazy it smells so good oh wait i need that mirror so what are you guys doing at home Watching YouTube videos. Has anyone been out shopping supermarkets? Because now I, I certainly can't do that. Okay, so I'm trying to just put it on little by little. And since this video, um, since my eyes have been hurt, I'm just going to upload the video without editing, so I apologize. Uh, but I wanted to be careful because this is a very intense shade. So I don't want to mess up the lines too much. So this is cute. I like it. Um... Ooh, I do like this. And so, yeah, there are oils in here. And this is the packaging that's not see-through. The other one, the original formula, has the see-through uh, packaging. This is made in France. It is mm, 0.2 of an ounce. It's the exact same size as the original clear oil that was out previously. And it's a lightweight cream oil, so like this. So it's so bright, it kind of makes me be in a better mood. Um, and about COVID, I do, <laughs> now that I'm a COVID person, um, I do want to share some information with you. Um, you know, I started self-isolating a couple of days before St. Patty's Day. That's when I last went to the supermarket. And I think a lot of people are out there are saying, well, I'm self-isolating, but they're going out to the supermarkets and they're going out to like take out food and everything. And um, I think for a little while we did have to do that because the supermarkets were empty. Uh, oh, and, and the home delivery was like impossible to get. But I wanted to tell you guys that I've been watching the uh, supermarket home delivery we have two different services here where I live um, and there has always been no dates available no dates available and starting today um, at one site it was the Peapod site for a stop and shop if you're in Massachusetts I was finding time slots so I was finding time slots for the Sunday coming up I'm filming this on Wednesday for the Sunday coming up and the Monday coming up so you can i mean you can't get everything there's still a shortage of toilet paper and for sure the clorox wipes um they do have they did have one stop and shop toilet paper 
um, I don't know, I ordered it, whatever it was, um, but that was the only one. So you can get your groceries delivered. Try to do that instead of going into the supermarkets because you don't know who has this. I, you know, even the nurse said on the phone, she said, how did you, she said, when did you self isolate? She said, why? I said, because I was caring for Pat's mother. Uh, she's, and then she says, and your, your symptoms started like four days ago. She says, that's kind of odd, you know, that they would start after you had been in self-isolation. But again, Pat was going in and out as an essential worker and I don't know, did I get it? And it lingered and now it popped up. I don't know, did Pat bring it home? I don't know. And yeah, so nobody really knows. Um, but I just like to tell everybody, if you can shop um, through your supermarkets online, please do that. You know, um, I'm worried for the supermarket workers to get ill if Pat we just had a talk about that right now. If Pat went to this stop and shop today, I was begging him, please don't do it. Um, so if you can try to get your groceries delivered, please do that. Um, and the same for takeout. Um, you know, if you don't have to do it and take the risk, then I would, I would not. So, um, yeah, I have COVID, um, and I'm 50 and I'm not immunocompromised, even though like pretty often I don't feel well, but that's from fibromyalgia, but I'm not immunocompromised like that. So that's a good thing. And I'll let you guys know how things are going, um, coming up. And if you don't hear from me from a few days, it's for a few days. It's just because I'm lying in bed and watching YouTube videos and sleeping. So... Uh, I hope you guys are well, take care, um, wash your hands and together at home, okay? Bye guys, I'll see you in the next one, bye!